Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another video. It's your boy EJ with NBF Everything. NBF EJ. Ooh, NBF EJ. My bad, y'all. It's been a minute since I've been consistent on this channel, man. I was just making videos, period. So it's going to take me a minute to get back in the whoop how I want to. Right now, all the kennels are clean. All the dogs are fed. All the dogs are clean. Right now, I'm doing my one-on-one -on -one with Junior because, you know, he's going to be here forever. So... Gotta make sure he's straight. Gotta make sure he understand me, understand my movements, understand my voice, understand to know when I'm serious, like when to chill, when to stop, all that. So right now, we're just going for a little walk. He's trying to learn me, he's trying to figure me out. I guess I'll let y'all see him for a second. Hopefully the camera is on him because I got the face camera on. I can't really tell. This is what's going on right now, though, man. Going for a walk. This is my one-on-one -on -one with my junior, man. My Navy son. He's the future of my kennel. He's one of the features of my kennel. My future stud. He's going to be a big boy. He's going to be super nice. Very good structure. Very good temperament. Um, He's turned out to be the most doc, doc style one. Doc, however you say that shit. He's turned out to be the most chill one out of the dogs. Look at him right now. Look. When I start, look how low he get. He's trying to figure me out. It's okay. Come on, Junior. It's okay, Junior. Let's go. But he's trying to figure me out. Um, he has mad respect for me. When a dog get low, that's mad respect. It's a little fear in that. But uh, fear is respect. I hear what people say. I don't want my kids to fear me my kids to respect me people respect what they fear you know what i'm saying so you can uh come up with that however you need to come up with it so yeah so we're just going for a little walk probably like might go for a mile or two i'm gonna take them around the pond um take them around the ducks and stuff like that and uh just chill man we just this is just one-on-one -on -one with Junior right now. Today is a one-on-one -on -one with Junior day. Um, not today, but just right now. Then I got to go back and do this with all my puppies individually because we're now at an age. Uh, we're at an age now where you got to go and create that that bond with humans, man. Let them know, like, hey, we are the, huh, we the ones. So respect human beings, respect people. Don't bite. Don't be doing all the extra stuff because I am a human being. You know what I'm saying? I am over you. You bite your you bite your your sisters, your brothers, you bite your little uh your little twins. Cause you know these dogs are only two weeks apart. Nothing really happens for real. But when you bite a human being, you could potentially die or get hurt really bad. So I am putting in time one on one with all my dogs to let them know how serious human beings are and to respect them. If you are dealing with XLs, um, dogs that's gonna be 100 plus pounds, it's, it's, uh, it's good to get this out the way early because as you guys know, um, all dogs, especially big dogs, all dogs can become very dangerous if you don't implement respect and a little bit of fear into these dogs early where they know a human being could hurt me really bad. Another dog could hurt me, but a human being could, uh, is different. What y'all don't understand is, to these dogs, we are giants. A dog can never see a human being eye to eye. Never let you land on the ground. And who the fuck lays on ground? Understand what I'm saying? We are giants. Every time a dog look at you, it has to look up. It has to look up. That's why it's very important that you don't have dogs on couches. It's very important to my big dogs that you don't have big dogs in the bed with you. They never need to feel like y'all on the same level because you're not. So my dogs never get same level treatment because they're not on my level. They understand they beneath me. And that's something you need to very, very implement in the extra L dogs, 100 plus pound dogs. Now them good dogs, it really don't matter. Good dogs can't do shit. 
You know what I'm saying? Like my Frenchie, my Frenchie could be in the bed all day. And sometimes Navy used to be in my bed. And I, I'm, I'm telling y'all from experience, Navy felt like he was on my level at times. He tested me on so many different occasions that was off camera. Sometimes he tested me on camera and a lot of people noticed it. So that's what happened with Navy. Navy was like an only child, spoiled. Do whatever you want, go wherever you want. He was always free roam. I never had him on a leash growing up and I really put one on him as an adult because he would come to me, he had good recall and shit like that. But at the, but at the same time, Navy at some point felt like he was on my level. And um, I had to nip that in the bud. Ultimately, that's what happened. So that's what we're doing right now, man. We making sure that we implement this very early with the dogs, very early with the puppies to let them know they not on our level. Zeus has never felt like he was on my level. Roxy has never felt like she was on my level. Chloe has never felt like she was on my level. I never gave them that opportunity to feel like they was on my level and they would never get it. Another dog would never get that because I understand the detriment of that, of that process of letting the dog do whatever it want. I'm not saying you can't hug your dog, you can't sit on the floor and play with the dog. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about merely letting the dog do whatever he want to do. I'm going to let y'all see Junior with, around the ducks. Come on, Junior. This is what I'm talking about. Get the respect from your dogs. Look, all you want to do is be by me. I don't have a leash. The leash is on. The leash is hanging. Look at him. Look at my boy. talking about this is the leash without the leash that's why it's very important to get this out the way early he feel like he's still on the leash because he is mentally he is on the leash mentally he's gonna forever be on the leash and that's how they always need to be mentally navy forgot he was on the leash This is very important. This one-on-one -on -one time with your dog is very important. That's why I keep telling y'all, have a few dogs left that's the same age. It's, it's very important that you go and get your dog, go and create that bond, so they have an understanding of you as the head of the house. They look at you as you, they look at you as the head of the house. Stop. So, He can't start looking at me. He looking at me because he looks like, okay, what am I supposed to do next? He always keep looking at me. He looking at me in my face. He want to know what, what is he supposed to do next? Is he doing okay? Is whatever he doing, is it okay? He trying to figure me out. That's all he trying to do. And I pull back on the leash because I don't want him walking in front of me. He's not going to lead me. No dog is going to ever lead me. No dog ever is going to lead MDFEJ. I have a strong voice, strong demeanor. And all my dogs know that. Oh, he's my best friend, man. Yeah, man, look at the scenery, man. This is right by my house. Short walk from my house. It's very beautiful, very relaxing. It's good to come out here with your dogs and cheer. You can't let your dog out leash. There's nowhere for him to run and play. But this is very, very, very relaxing. Very, very scenic. Um, you can get some great pictures out here. Um, yeah, man, this is nice, man. Very, very, very nice. One dream. I ain't gonna lie, I love this little boy, man. My boy, y'all. Y'all having a great morning, being very productive. Hope you're having a great morning. 
Hope y'all been a very, very, I hope you're being very, very productive. Hope you got up this morning and did something different than you did the day before, or you did the same thing, but it's positive. It's all about consistency, man. Whatever you do, a lot of, you're only gonna get better at it. Understand this. Look at him, he said he's looking at me for confirmation. What am I doing, what am I doing right? Am I doing right? Yeah, you're doing all right, buddy. The ducks, you're not even worried about the ducks. Look how close we are to the ducks. We ain't even looking over at them. He don't care about them. He asked you to avoid them. Now I'm gonna give you a little space. I can't give him a space, look. right on my feet. Roxy's son. It's going to be a big boy. He's full of water right now. He's here. Tail low. It ain't tucked. It's just low. Eventually, it'll be up a little bit more. It'll be wagging and waving. If I wouldn't have got sick, y'all, this would have been done already. I'll tell you that right now. If I wouldn't have got sick, he'd be way more comfortable right now. I'll catch you guys on this video. Love y'all.